Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So what you're looking at right here is the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 10.1 inch tablet that was just recently released. So what I want to show you guys here today is when you power on this device for the first time and you set it up, the first thing you see is the old TouchWiz interface. So this is just a regular TouchWiz interface. You've got the widgets right here. You've got the apps and you can scroll through. You can even pinch to add more uh, home screens to your TouchWiz interface but as you know the thing that they've been talking about is the the magazine UX interface which is if you scroll over this is what you get this is the magazine UX interface where you get a tile based interface and you can populate this interface with the things that interest you the most now when you switch over from TouchWiz to the magazine UX you can also pinch here and once you pinch here you can add up to three home screens and then at the bottom here you can pick different categories from where you can add widgets and information to your home screens so let's uh, take a look at the one in the middle right now we have three one two three widgets you can add up to six total widgets so if you tap anything here it goes right there and if you want to rearrange the screen you have two options you can either click change layout and that's automatic as you can see change that's automatic again or you can do it manually by pressing and holding it and then you can move this around as you would any other widget okay you can also tap here on the widgets and the thing comes right up but the easiest way to do this is to pinch in and then you get the option to customize and again you can only add three home screens for the magazine UX overlay now just to give you a little detail here this is a, a, a home page that I created with only news items so if you pinch out again and you go over here it says news items and from here oops sorry let's go back it says news items so from here you can add business to it if you go back now I got one two three four now there is a button on each one of these tiles there's a refresh button if you press that it does a refresh and gets you the latest news and then there's also a little options pane here if you tap that as far as science and technology goes you can pick other places to feed you news so let's talk let's add this 9 to 5 Mac okay so now you have 9 to 5 Mac you have top stories and you have technology from Flipboard being fed to this tile only now this tile here is about photos and design and you can see the title on the top here again you can refresh it or you can press this options button and then you can choose different places to feed you news so let's look at the it says architecture so tap that so now you have the architecture and you've got top stories you tap here you'll get different information being fed to you from the sources that you choose and then if you scroll over here this is just the one I created um, with random stuff so I added some I went over here to social I added Flickr Twitter and YouTube and then I put a calendar and if you want to go to the calendar you go from social to applications okay so you have three panes right now to choose widgets from that you can drop on your home screen and I'm sure this is gonna expand as Samsung adds more and more options and just to give you a quick demo here if you go back here none of these guys are set up so if you tap them it's gonna ask you to log into your Twitter account and then you're gonna get feeds right there so let me just skip that for now if you tab YouTube it's gonna ask you to log into your Google account which is your YouTube account and that's gonna have feeds for you right there and then I also have the Flickr right here if you tap that it's gonna ask you to log into your Flickr account and all the pictures and photos that you have in your Flickr account are gonna populate here in a meaningful way okay, and then here we just have some random stuff that I added again this is the magazine UX interface okay if you go out you go to the old touch with interface 
in this interface you can still pinch away and you can add regular home screens to this or you can remove them okay so let's take this away we can have only one so far it seems that you have to have at least one of these and then you can swipe over to your magazine UX back to touch with and one more thing let's say you add one more screen here right so now you have two touch with screens this and this at the bottom you'll see them as lines so the first line is the main one the second line is the second screen you added the little button that looks like a square there takes you to magazine UX interface so if you tap that it goes to magazine UX so you can swipe over or you can tap that square button will take you right to your magazine UX interface and then you can scroll through this is a loop so you can scroll magazine magazine touch with touch with touch with magazine 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 touch with okay and just a couple other things you do have the app drawer right here the button at the bottom here the app drawer button so if you tap that you go to your widgets or your apps here are the apps here are the widgets you can choose from. These widgets can only go onto the touch with overlay. You cannot take these widgets and put them on Magazine UX. Okay? If you want to put anything to Magazine UX, you have to pinch out and choose from these guys. So, so far, you've got the news, you've got the social app plugins, and you've got the application plugins. Okay? Again, let's go from here you have access to the app drawer as well you just tap right here if you want to access any apps and you can launch any app that you please okay which I don't need right now okay and then you have the pull down notification center that has been revamped a little bit it looks cleaner and more professional but um, nothing new here you have the brightness control here you got the volume control you've got your quick settings right here if you tap these you get the full quick settings and if you press that pen button you can edit your um, notifications panel you can move stuff around so take sound and replace it with GPS so sound comes here GPS goes there if you look upstairs pull this down sound GPS okay so you can always re rearrange everything here and then a few other things if you press and hold the power button in the middle the home button it takes you to Google now okay if you double tap it, it takes you to Samsung s voice if you press this app this is the application switcher button now it used to be the menu button now it is the application switcher button so if you tap this you'll see the current apps that are running you can swipe them away to cancel them or you can close them all at once by tapping that close all button and from here you can also go to the task manager and from task manager you have a couple options you can explore like the RAM manager and this will let you clear the memory and it's probably gonna make your tab a little faster okay so that's basically all there is to it you got your touch with you've got your magazine UX you've got your app drawer you've got your notification panel and then you can edit everything around here so this widget can disappear if you want you can go over here pick a brand new widget like this guy and put it let's go to the next screen oops that didn't work okay let's do it like this so I'll go to the empty screen grab a widget put it right there or you can put it right here and you can resize them too okay and then with the magazine UX pinch and edit any way you please Then, if you press home button it takes you to touch with home and that should basically cover everything that I needed to go over just to give you a quick overview of the new interface the magazine UX and the touch with and the whole of Samsung now this is Android KitKat 4.4.2 which is the latest Android KitKat out there and it has the touch with plus the magazine UX interface alright so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. 
Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.